Welcome. In this session on natural deduction, we'll explore the semantics of unbound variables. When we were performing proofs in natural deduction, we didn't pay much attention to unbound variables. We called them free variables. We observed that they were, appeared in a parse tree, that we cared very much about whether a variable was free for x in a formula, and we didn't pay much other attention to unbound variables. When we get to the semantics, these unbound variables are important to include in our models. So in our meta-logic, what we need to do is we need to have, so in meta-logic, and we'll say for a formula or a proof, we need to define two things. One is we need to define the set, and this has a specific name, the set var, and we'll underline it here, the set var as the set of every unbound formula, unbound variable. So whether that's an unbound variable in a formula or in a set of formulas that are collected to a proof. And then we also need to define define a lookup function. And this is a special kind of function. This is a function that maps the set of variables to an object in the universe of discourse. So it mustn't return the empty set. It mustn't return more than one. It has to return exactly one. And what this does is, in our proofs, as I mentioned, we don't really pay much attention to what's happening with these unbound variables. When we begin to look at semantics carefully, what we'll see is that for every unbound variable, we must assign it to an object in the universe of discourse. An example is in a programming language, we might have a value pi or we might have a value e. And the results of your program are going to depend importantly on these variables, and yet in your program you rarely specify the values of pi or of e or of any of the other important constants, whether mathematical or physical. And the appropriateness, the, the output of your program may depend importantly on these values. That is a separate question. What we care about is we need to know that this variable is assigned to at least to exactly one object in the universe of discourse. This is assigned to an object in the universe of discourse. And then we can begin to analyze your program.